get geared up for the ski season while well, Ski Town All Stars and Chris Bavona are the people to do so. And especially because we were talking about ski aerobics first thing this morning. He was going to show us how to do some, but unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be able to this morning. Good morning, Chris. Hey, Maddie, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. I was trying I can, to do some squats for, I can hear for you guys you. and. Uh, Ripped your microphone Ripped right off. Ripped the microphone right off. Do you need help? No, I, I, okay. I thought it was wireless, but apparently I wasn't. I no, really no. Wasn't. Yeah, you knew you were. I was weren't. literally going to do some squats and lunges for you guys this morning. Is that better? Yeah, there you go. All right, Ooh, perfect. That was a close call there. <laughs> that was, that was really funny. Really hard not to laugh <laughs> just then. As to, I watched that all come out of the corner of my eye. So you guys had a great event over the weekend. Let's talk about how much money you just raised. Well, let's talk about the event, Maddie. Okay, let's talk about the event. It was a ton of fun. It was a ton of fun. So uh, this is our first ever uh, winter stoke sale this past weekend. We had a sale all weekend. We had a little operative party with Dave Tucker. Um, had some some uh, some sloshies and some drinks for the, for the people. And some pizza. And some pizza. Colby made a ton of pizza for us as well. So that was an awesome time. And then... Uh, Saturday night at Shakedown, we did our first annual Winter Stoke 80s party, and it was super fun. Um, through all the raffles and whatnot, we raised $5,100 $5, for Colorado Avalanche Information Center. So Which is amazing because it, it helps so much in the community, in the ski community, and just really in knowing what's going on. Yeah, yeah, Avalanche Forecasting is, we, we couldn't do what we do without it. Um, so we had no expectations. We had low expectations, actually. And uh, we, uh, <laughs> I mess up everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Uh, it's all so seamless. We'll just keep rolling. Uh, Avalanche forecasting. Yeah, like for a lot of us to go out in the backcountry, go sledding, skinning, uh, you know, we check the forecast every day. So the fact that we could raise that amount of money and kind of we, we had very low expectations for the event. And then also, uh, you helped me on Monday morning yep. announce the winners. And people were like, minds were blown when I would, like, a couple people were like, you're joking, right? Because we gave away those K2 skis, the Blizzard yes. skis, the Black Crow skis, um, all the Opry pack, line Opry booties, the thermic heated socks, which you wanted to win. I wanted to I win. should have worn a pair, actually, because it was cold this morning. I know. Well, you guys are going to stock those eventually, We'll stock right? those pretty We got a couple pair in. Uh, we got a bunch more coming. Um, I need the small pair. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll wear them next time. Okay, perfect. We'll have, perfect. We'll have toasty feet next interview. That makes my whole day so much better. Toasty feet is the best thing. Yep. And speaking of toasty feet, you guys have a lot of the line Opry booties left, yep. but you're running a giveaway right now on social media. So if people missed out, they yep. can now participate in a new giveaway. Go to our, well, lots of giveaways. We have another giveaway coming up soon too, but I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, Line Opry <laughs> Booties, um, go to our Instagram. Uh, we've partnered with Line Skis, who's making these Opry Booties. You have to tag a friend, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Do the whole Instagram contest thing. Um, so at Ski Town All Stars, it's like two posts prior to today. Um, and then also we've got another giveaway with Fisher Skis. We're giving away a Fisher Ranger 102 Celeste. Um, I think on Tuesday that contest starts. So we're just working a lot with a lot of these brands to, to just, you know, get the word out there, increase the stoke. Um, and then obviously, like I was saying, like people were like, minds were blown when they're like, did I really win? Like, are you joking me? So I think it's pretty cool to actually give away stuff. And I think it's cool that you guys do such a good job of making sure that everyone can participate. Yep. You don't make your rules so crazy where nope. it's like you have to be here yep. to win this because a lot of places do that and then a lot of people miss out. And so I think that you guys do it in the best way possible and then you guys do just get everyone's hype level through the roof. Yeah, I mean, we went skiing yesterday at Arapahoe Basin. How was it? Uh, it was actually pretty good. Um, one run, so the white ribbon of death, but it wasn't that busy. Um, you know, the drive over was easy, it was nice out, it was sunny, so it was actually was like a pretty fun little event, you know, for our, me and a couple of the guys from the shop went today, a couple of, I sent a couple of the guys from the shop on opening day, Arapahoe Basin, and then now it's like there's, I mean, I just shoveled six inches of snow off my car in Westville. So it's like, it's kind of winter. It's here. Yeah. And so as we're gearing up for winter, what are some of the important things that people need to do to their skis to get them prepared? Because you guys have a full service shop. Yep. So I think the big thing is, uh, you know, just making sure your gear is ready. I know, I know yesterday morning I was scrambling. So I think, you know, you, you never know when we're going to get a big dumping or you want to go in the back country. So I think the first thing is like 
get all your gear out. Make sure it works. Make sure there's no holes in things. Make sure, you know, like, make sure, like, I was like, I was looking for gloves yesterday and I was like, I found like one glove of like four set, four pairs. So just make sure you have your stuff ready. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, make sure you check your goggles, make sure there's no cracks, make sure, you know, you, you can see. Um, and then the big thing is your skis, right? Like making sure, like look at the bases of them. And if like, you know, like me and I accidentally possibly on closing day, like walk through Vale Village with my skis, probably gonna go need to get them tuned. You know, I, you know, sometimes you gotta just walk through Vale Village in your skis on closing day. Just gotta, gotta do it. It, it just happens. It just, it just like accidentally happens. And maybe my skis went in the fountain as well. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, you know, so basically make sure they're tuned, make sure they're ready, uh, make sure your edges are, are nice and smooth, make sure your skis are waxed. And then the big thing is like making sure you're like, you're swole, you know, making sure you're yeah. fit. Yeah. You know, which is like why, you, why you were trying to do the squats before. Yeah, I was trying to do lunges and squats. <laughs> and then you basically and closed one broke everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if people need to bring in their gear to be yep. tuned up for the ski season, yep. is there a specific time that's better for you guys? Uh, no, but not a specific time. I just don't expect to get it back in like three minutes. Right. You know, like we've got, you know, like we're trying to do mounts in less than 24 hours, which I don't think anyone's doing right now. Um, we're trying to get skis back to people in 24 to 48 hours. Um, so I think just kind of be patient, like most of the shop, like we're pretty staffed up actually, but I think a lot of the other shops like aren't even open or even staffed up. So I think now is a good time to tape, to bring in your mounts. Like we're doing about four to five mounts a day. Um, what's the matter? What, what matter? if I have a ski that has a core shot right on the edge, but I have the P-Tex for it. Will you guys try and fill it for me? I mean, like we have P-Tex, but it's I probably going to need like a base welder or something more or some epoxy, which it, Nico can do. It might need the epoxy. Ni Nico's the skis are. Okay, so perfect. we also can do like edge replacements. So like we were really good at like the big repairs and then the funky stuff like, you know, mounting cast touring, which people don't even know what it is yet, which we'll have to educate them. We'll bring it in next time. You said that last time. I know we didn't have, we don't have it mounted oh, okay, yet. Okay, okay, okay. Patience, patience. All right, pa <laughs> patience. Just like, just like having patience on your mounts and tunes, patience with me bringing in the cast binding system. You just get us so excited. I get so excited. You get our hype levels so yeah. real for all this new equipment and all of this new technology, and then you don't even bring it. I know. Well, I, you know what? The roads are kind of bad, so I had to get here. <laughs> I know. Like, we talked about that. We did yeah, talk about we that. Got, we got to get here. And so for skis, you guys have an entire ski wall. So no matter what people are looking for, something a little <laughs> bit more carver focused, yep. something a little more backcountry, yep. something that's just a perfect all mountain ski, you guys have it. Yep. So uh, we've unofficially been voted the number one sexiest ski shop in the world <laughs> on Instagram. Oh, okay. I was going to say. By me. <laughs> okay. I was going to say okay. who voted for this. I, I did. But it's actually, <laughs> okay. uh, it's actually pretty stoked at how the shop looks. It's, it's more of a showroom than like a grungy, like gross carpet smelly ski shop. Um, and we've got probably the largest ski wall in the valley um, and a lot of great skis from a lot of great brands. We've got about nine to 10 brands, I think, as well as tons and tons of bindings. So even if you get your skis elsewhere, if you got a friend that works for a friend who works for a friend, you know, typically they'll have, they still need a mountain, you'll still need bindings. So you can come to us and we can take care of you. But you guys have a great binding selection as well. And then, Speaking of avalanche safety, you guys have some of the stuff to help people get prepared and stay safe out there if they're maybe exploring getting into the sure. country. Yep, we've got beacons, uh, we've got a few packs, we've got a bunch more packs coming. Um, we've got, uh, we should have pretty soon some T3 rescue kits. Um, the big thing I, I really like to push is a radio. Um, I think a radio is almost one of the most important parts of your backcountry kit. Um, being able to talk to your partner and being able to warn them of things and talk to them as they're actually skiing. And, and I think radios are huge. I think they're pretty under, underrated. So we do have full stocks of, stock of backcountry BCA radios. Um, yeah, so pretty much everything uh, except for ski boots because I don't like feet. I don't blame you. I don't like feet either. So that works out perfect. Yeah. But we do have boot heaters, which we can put in your boots, but we're not touching your feet. <laughs> We'll touch your boots, but not your feet yep. here at Ski Town All Stars. Yep. If people are interested in coming shopping, maybe getting their hands on some of your great products, whether yep. it's some of the OG products that you've got on right now, or if they want some new ski gear, where can they find you and what are your hours of operation? So we are in Eagle Vale um, on the Green Mile next to Pier 13 Liquors and Big O Tires. Um, you'll see the big open signs and all the cool, we still have some e-bikes outside, 
Um, and uh, we're open a lot right now. So like easily nine-ish to six-ish. Um, and we're gonna be expanding our hours on Saturday and possibly Sunday and maybe even closing uh, one or two days during the weekdays as well. But so for right now, Monday through Saturday, uh, nine-ish to six-ish. And then, but the big thing too is just call, call the shop, make sure we're there. You know, if it's, if it's gonna like snow, we're gonna go skiing and not open the shop. Right. You know, what do you want us to do? <laughs> you guys live your best lives over at Ski Town All Stars. Yeah. Chris, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having all me. This great information and some solid giggles this morning. You got it. I'm here <laughs> make, to entertain. We love it. Make sure you make your way over to Ski Town All Stars. You get all of your equipment nice and geared up for the upcoming season because we're only 16 days yeah. away from Vail Mountain. Oh my goodness. We're going to take a short 16 break. 16 days. And when we come back, we're going to take a look at that local weather forecast. So stay tuned.